We wake up, we eat. We work until midday, we eat. We go home, we eat. Day in, day out, this is the routine of an individual living in a developed country. Too often and easily do we forget that this is not the case for everyone. For people living their lives in underdeveloped countries, this routine that we have adopted and become so familiar with seems like a world away. Every 10 seconds, a child in the world dies from hunger. Hunger kills more people annually than malaria, TB and AIDS combined. Approximately 30% of the food produced throughout the world is wasted. It is shocking facts like these that scream the harsh reality of just how severe this global challenge is to today's population and to the future generations to come. An estimated 925 million people in the world are living in hunger. This is more than just missing a meal. Hunger arises from a long sustained period of not having access to the food and water necessary to live a healthy life. If 925 million people are hungry, then the world must not be producing enough food, right? Wrong. The world currently produces more than enough food for today's population to live a healthy and sustainable life. The global challenge of food production and security is a commonly discussed global issue in the developed countries, yet it is not taken seriously and it is often overlooked. It is the poorer countries such as the countries in Africa that are struggling and are in desperate need of the resources and technology that the first world countries such as New Zealand have. There is no quick fix to this issue and producing more food will not guarantee a solution. Instead, we need to focus on the distribution of food. This is where my chosen degree at Lincoln University comes in. I've chosen to study a Bachelor of Commerce, majoring in Supply Chain Management and Global Business. I've chosen this degree because I would like a career which can contribute to improving the effectiveness and efficiency of the distribution of global resources. I believe a degree which focuses on the complexities of managing business relationships, sustainability and moving products and information around the world will provide me with the skills to make a difference to this global issue. This is a complex issue that needs to be tackled in an economic and an environmentally sustainable manner. My name is James Dunbar and I strongly believe in Lincoln University's views of feeding the world, protecting the future and living well, all of which relate to global challenges, which is why I'm applying to be a recipient of the Global Challenges Scholarship in 2016 to assist me with my future studies. I would relish the opportunity to be a part of the Global Challenge Program and to be able to channel my degree to contributing to, the improve, to improving a global environment. Thank you.